Now let me go the other direction. Let me go here. This is Africa, the tip of Africa. Here's Egypt, Libya, Tunisia. What's next to Tunisia? Algeria, also on fire now. The riots are starting here. Morocco is on fire. What's across from Morocco? Spain, connected to France and Germany and Italy, also on fire. And Greece, also on fire, which brings you right back here to Turkey. The entire Mediterranean is on fire. More than that. It's not just the surrounding countries of the Mediterranean. It also spreads up here. You have the UK and Ireland already with riots in the street. You have Russia with a bombing. Well, now let's see. Let's play this through. What do you think happens? These two collide. They, quite honestly, they could make us collapse financially. Just these two colliding, let alone if this is on fire as well, are our forces there? What do we do? This is colliding. We're pouring all of our money into here and here and trying to keep things stable. China pushes this direction. Here's China. Pushes this direction. Just says, knock it off, guys. These guys are pushing this direction. This is all pushing up into the middle, into the Mediterranean, into Spain. This becomes a caliphate. This becomes China dominant. This becomes a Muslim caliphate. If they think Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, Libya, possibly Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Turkey, are now some sort of a Muslim caliphate, if anyone begins to think that that is a chance, what happens to the, the overwhelming radical populace, uh, pop, uh, pop population of the UK of radical Islamists. What happens? Do they just sit around on their hand or do they see an opportunity? When you take the Marxists and you combine them with the radical from Islam, when you combine those two forces, which is exactly, we'll show you this week, what is happening here, the whole world starts to improve. Does Russia push across? This way? This is not just happenstance. This is not just poor people mad at rich people. This is coordinated. Tunisia was the beginning. I think there's a chance that Tunisia is our Archduke Ferdinand moment that I've been telling you about. Warning that it would start in some place that wouldn't look like anything. And most of us wouldn't understand it. He was the guy assassinated in Sarajevo. June 1914. A month later, Austria and Hungary declared war against Serbia. And the rest is called World War I. I believe a snowball is being formed. And it is starting to roll. There are too many people that want to have their dream world. You're not going to be able to catch it. But you can at least prepare to not get caught in the snowball. I'm going to show you in a minute how this isn't Berlin. This is Iran, 1979. I'll show you why we really went to war in Iraq. It's not for weapons of mass destruction. And then if we have time, tonight we'll introduce you to our friend, Mubarak. Next.